in this video we'll be reviewing boards and beyond the good the bad and everything in between how do i use it personally and also should you buy it if you are not preparing for the us medical licensing exam so let's go Hey there, I'm Subhar Ramnani, the guy who's mad about medicine just like you. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below and also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing medical content, some interesting quizzes and exciting challenges and giveaways. You can find the links to all of this and everything else mentioned in this video down in the description box below. So let's go. So let's get straight to it. What is Boards and Beyond? Boards and Beyond is a platform which gives you content related to the USMLE steps, step 1, 2, 3 and also clinical knowledge which is prepared by Dr. Ryan who is a cardiologist based in the US. So firstly, let's talk about what all content does Boards and Beyond cover. So it has various topics and lectures right from the first year of medical school to the final year of medical school and it is divided into step 1 and step 2, 3 subscription. So if you're primarily preparing for the US MLEs, this resource is a must have and we'll discuss that why. But if you're not preparing for the US MLE, is this resource a must have? Well, we'll cover this question later in the video. So let's dive down to the features. Number one, videos. So it has video lectures on all high yield topics you cover throughout your medical schools. Now these video lectures are all taught by Dr. Ryan himself. Videos are based on a slide based format. That means you won't see Dr. Ryan himself, but you'll hear his voiceover over the slides he's prepared for you. So these slides contain text as well as images and sometimes Dr. Ryan goes to the whiteboard and draws something to explain the concept better. In my opinion, these videos are fast paced, covering the basic concepts and about 15 to 20 minutes long and sometimes extend to 30 minutes. Now the slides which Dr. Ryan teaches from are available to download in the PDF format if you have the subscription and you can import it into your favorite note taking app and annotate on it. Now I personally like this feature so much because most apps have their content restricted to in-app things. So if they have slides or content, they won't let you download it and rather use it in the app itself to prevent piracy, which is good. But it also limits you that you cannot annotate on them or you cannot do some things which you will be able to do on a traditional note taking app. Now, if you're not a big fan of digital note taking on an iPad, there are two other options for you. These slide books are also available to purchase off Amazon and you can annotate on them by the traditional way with the pen and paper and you'll get the slides in a printed format. And the second feature here is right where you see the video, there's a column to write your own notes and it will save those notes having the date and time next to it as when you wrote those notes. So this is an additional feature. So if you like to take notes while watching the video and you don't want to move away from the computer and you can type the notes right directly into the site. And if you are more of a traditional user, you can use the pen and paper on the book, on the printed book, which has all the slides in it. And yes, it has all the basic features like watching it at 2x speed or 1.25 speed or even slowing it down. Now this is all you get about the video section. Coming to the second point, question banks. Now after every video, you have some questions you can attempt to apply the knowledge you've just learned. Now you can also use these questions, like I said, just after the video, or you can create a custom quiz. For example, you've completed all of cardiology, so you can just select, okay, I want to do cardiology, I want to do my unused questions, and I want to limit it to 10 questions only. So you can create a custom quiz and you can mix and match. For example, I want to do cardio, renal and pulmonary. So these questions are very interconnected, I would say, as these systems are very interconnected. So you can formulate any type of custom quiz and use it to your benefits. You can choose used, unused or new questions you have to attempt. And there are two modes you can answer these question banks on. Time mode and tutor mode. In the tutor mode, when you answer the question, it gives you the explanation right after it. While it counts the time, how long you took to answer the question, it will stop as soon as you answer the question and gives you the explanation right after it. One good point I like about this is it gives you the explanation of all answer choices. So no matter if A was correct or B was correct, you will have the explanation of everything. 
of why A was correct and why B and C and D were wrong. So this gives you a pretty much whole picture and you can revise the topic right from the explanations. And next comes the time mode. In time mode, you'll have the questions and you'll answer them one by one by one and you won't get any explanations af right after answering the questions. Once you're done with all the questions you've selected, for example, you selected, you'll do 10 questions. Once you're done with that, you'll have a total time. For example, you took this much time to answer 10 questions and in the end, you'll have a chance to review those questions. So this is more simulating the real exam conditions where you're working against the clock and you are answering the questions one, two, three, one by one. And in the end, you get the result and a chance to review those questions and learn from it. One thing to note is that these questions are based on the NBME guidelines for the USMLE step exams. So I would say all these questions are clinically based. For example, a patient comes to you and etc, etc and presents like this and then you get the options. So if you want a resource to practice clinical based questions, even if you're not preparing for the USMLE exams, I think you would be happy with the questions uh, Boards and Beyond has to offer. And if you are preparing for the USMLE, then yes, you should practice these types of questions all the time because this is what you get in the exam. Number three, let's look at additional features Boards and Beyond has to offer. So first feature is uh, playlist feature. So you can create your own playlist and share with your friends. So for example, you have these uh, three or four videos which has very important concepts for your exams so you can make a high yield playlist or an important videos playlist and you can have this playlist uh, just on your dashboard and quickly accessible and you can watch it whenever you want and you can even share these playlists with your friends if they have the subscription they can look at this playlist and see what the important videos you've selected so this is a pretty neat feature if you ever want to some bookmark some questions and create a list of videos or a group of videos which you'll need for an upcoming exam. The second good feature here is that whichever Boards and Beyond video you watch, it will have a reference book attached to it. So for example, you're watching a video on, let's say, cardiac anatomy. It will have a reference book attached to it like the first aid for USMLE step one and it will have, okay, uh, in first aid USMLE step one, 2019 or 2020, this topic is from page number this to this. And it has also other books. For example, if you watch a physiology video, it will link to Costanzo's Physiology, which is one of the most popular books uh, people use for physiology. So if you have access to the book, you can cover the topics from both the sources simultaneously, or you can even annotate in the book itself while watching the video. This feature is particularly useful for me because I follow the first state as a structure for my study pattern and the videos are linked to the first state pages. So it likes unlock first states for me. Now after covering all the features, let's talk about some downsides you might feel are there while subscribing to Birds and Beyond. Number one, it has no application. It is a web based format. So you have to log into the site with your email ID and then watch the content Boards and Beyond has to offer. There is no quick access via an app where you are always logged in. However, there are workarounds for it. For example, you can always bookmark the site or you can even add the icon to your home screen for quick access. While this is not a deal breaker, but it would be nice to have an app, especially for solving questions. Uh, for solving questions on the go uh, because app interface I feel is much more smoother but yeah we have a website based format and I think that would do but an app especially for QBanks would be much much better. Number two now this is not a downside but you may feel like it is a downside so all these lectures are taught by one teacher Dr. Ryan himself so if you don't like how Dr. Ryan teaches uh, GI, you probably won't like his other lectures. Um, he has a particular style of teaching. He likes to teach in a slide based format. He explains it by drawing diagrams uh, right in the slides. So if you don't like his style of teaching, maybe you won't like any of these videos. But particularly, I can say that the cardiology section is really well taught by uh, Dr. Ryan. And I personally love the psychiatry section. Um, so if you don't like his teaching or if you like his teaching, you can judge that by watching some free videos which are available on their YouTube channel. So there are, I think, five to six videos you can watch and you can judge for yourself if you like that style. 
and i think that's about it these are only the two downsides i can think of and especially the second one it is not kind of a downside but it may be to you if you don't like again this specific pattern of teaching now let's get to the second topic of how i use boards and beyond myself so first of all i prepare a list of what topics i have to study for let's say a week so let's say this week i'm fo- focusing on cardiac physiology i'll see what boards and beyond videos are there for cardiac physiology and i'll map it out for example there are 10 videos on cardiac physiology and i'll divide it into let's say one video each day and then because of the feature that it has the first aid page is linked to it and i have access to the first aid book and i really think it's a good book to structure your study pattern i first watch the video lectures from boards and beyond and then go on to see the same content from the first aid book while watching the videos i also sometimes annotate on the lecture slides i have downloaded from the site uh, and i annotate in the notability app which is my note taking app of choice um, i really like digital note taking compared to the traditional way because it's more easier like i can use the colors highlighters without carrying a whole bag of these after covering the video and the same material for first aid itself i do not attempt the question bank while many people would like to do that i leave the question bank when i complete the whole topic let's say when i complete whole of cardiology then i attempt the question bank for cardiology uh, because uh, for example if i don't know uh, anything pathology related uh, about cardiology since the questions are clinically based and uh, Uh, you still might need some information about the pathology uh, while answering the question even though the question is for the physiology topic so i like to attempt these questions after going through the whole module of cardiology let's say and then going to the create custom quiz and attempting the uh, question module now as you might know i already have a video on why you should practice question banks every single day and i do that with the boards and beyond subscription Uh, I think every morning uh, when I wake up or whenever I start my studies I start it like this I open the website I create a custom quiz depending on the topics I have studied before and I create about a quiz for just 5 to 7 questions and I answer them so in the end it gives me the percentage and it really helps me practice those clinical based questions and also gets my mind moving and yeah so this is my uh resource of choice for practicing clinical questions every single day now coming to the third topic now this question may not apply for you but since most of this audience watching my video is indian based and maybe not preparing for us mle i would like to cover this question so should you get boards and beyond if you are not preparing for us mle so i would say boards and beyond pretty much covers all the high yield points you cover in medical school Now while Indian content might differ a bit for example uh, especially coming to the statistics like uh, this disease is more in India and this disease is more in America so you might not get this but i think it will cover all the basic and high yield points uh, especially about the physiology and pathology Uh, while USMLE lacks in anatomy questions because they are more clinical based and um, you can't ask many anatomical questions in a clinical based format uh, except that i think it pretty much covers all the topics so if you are planning to take a subscription which will cover all the high yield points and in a very integrated manner like a system wise then i think boards and beyond is a good resource Uh, especially coming to the price point because it's much much cheaper than the indian resources uh, for example prep ladder and marrow and also the questions uh, even if you're not preparing for usmle usmle content is itself very helpful in learning the material Uh, the questions are mostly clinical based and as you know uh, the indian style of uh, exam pattern is also moving more towards clinical pattern and not those straight line answers so i think practicing these questions even if you are not preparing for the usmle will help you a lot in uh, applying the concepts you have studied so all in all i would say uh, you can try it you can try the videos as i say the free videos on youtube and see if it 
fits for you and you can even look at the first aid book uh, because uh, mostly the videos are structured according to that not exclusively uh, but mostly and one more thing the biggest thing is the price point when it comes to choosing resources I think uh, Boards and Beyond really shines here with respect to the price point so we'll compare this to both Indian resources as well as other USMLE based resources so Boards and Beyond covers uh, material of preclinical as step 1 subscription and clinical as step 2, 3 and clinical subscription. So let's take about the pricing of step 1. Uh, let's take a baseline for one year subscription. So you will see I'll have a picture around here that one year subscription just covering the preclinical subjects is much cheaper at Boards and Beyond compared to any other resource which offers the same material. Now I know when I compare it to Indian resources, the Indian resources are structured toward India study pattern and it has all the content right from pre-clinical -pre to the clinical subjects. So even if you plan to purchase both a step 1 subscription and step 2, 3 C subscription, um, I think it would still be about the same or cheaper. But here I think price won't matter much. It would matter if you're preparing for the Indian exams or the USMLE exams. So let's answer this question, is Boards and Beyond the most complete resource you can get for your assembly? And this will also serve as a summary of this video. Number one, it has video lectures covering the step one and step two 3C content. Number two, it has question banks covering the same content based on the NVMe guidelines. Number three, it has those extra features like I talked about, slide books and playlist feature and bookmarking and whatnot. And some of the drawbacks were that it has no application and it is just one teacher, Dr. Ryan himself, teaching all the subjects to you. So is it the most complete resource, especially for USMLE Step 1? I would say yes, because it pretty much covers everything. So let's say if you're planning to prepare for USMLE Step 1, you can straight away take Just Sports and Beyond and be happy with it. Although I would recommend that you also take other subscriptions which are more gold standard like um, UWorld and etc and etc. But if you're looking for a one-stop shop, I would say Boards and Beyond is perfect and that's why I purchased it myself. Now wait, if you've reached this far in the video, I would like to tell you that there's a giveaway happening right now over on my Instagram page about a one month giveaway for Boards and Beyond subscription and all the details about the giveaway will be on my Instagram page. So go right now and check it out. And before you do that, don't forget to like this video if you gained any value out of it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this about reviews, about study tips, etc. and etc. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe and stay mad, but just about medicine.